Two men come on the scene at the start of the film. One of them is Jack while another name is Verge. A spiritual being Verge was taking Jack into hell. While moving, he interrogates Jack of the committed serial killings in his life by him. Now Jack informs him about his first incident. Where it is seen that he was driving a car. A lady is seen on the way who asks to stop his car. And she asks for help from him. Her car was perhaps been punctured. Her car's jack had also become out of order. So she asks lift from him. But Jack forbids her to help her. But that lady pleads Jack and he agrees to her request. And she rides in Jack's car. Jack says to her that he will drop him at any auto repair shop. Now that lady continues to talk with him on the way. And she cuts joke with him saying, you seem a serial killer. It makes Jack feel so bad. Now he drops that lady at an auto repair shop. And that mechanic gives her Jack after repairing it. After this, Jack again goes to drop that lady in her car. And Jack also helps that lady. But the car's Jack is again cracked at this time. Jack comes in rage on this. But that lady says to Jack, there is no one to help me on this abandoned road. Please drop me at the auto repair shop one more time. Now that lady says to him on the way, you don't look like a serial killer from any aspect. I was just cracking a joke with you. You are a very good human being. Now Jack flies into a rage, hearing the name of the serial killer. Jack stops the car and he hits the place Jack in the car, on the head of that lady. Due to this, that lady has instantly died. After this, Jack brings that lady's dead body into his house. And he preserves it in the industrial freezer and he hides that lady's car somewhere else later. And he throws her car's keys into the water. Later, he reveals his second encounter. Where Jack was chasing a lady while driving his car. Jack comes to that lady's house as she enters there. He tries to unlock the door of her house door. But it was locked so he rings the doorbell. That lady investigates Jack, who are you? Jack tells her that he is a police officer, and he has approached her to get some details. When Jack tries to enter that lady's house, then that lady asks him to show his police badge. After this, Jack makes a new excuse. But he glimpses the photo of her husband inside her house. So he feels that her husband is no more. Then he says to that lady that he has come from an insurance company. And he reveals to her, he has come here to hand her over some amount of money. He had introduced himself as a police officer at first because they are trained as such at the very beginning. Now that lady was also in need of money now. So she asks him to come in. Now she asks the tea or coffee from Jack. But Jack utters nothing. Now that lady was all alone at that house. And she was also fearing Jack. But Jack attacks that lady there, getting a chance. And he strangles her to death. And he also stabs her heart with a knife. After this, he makes that lady's dead body seat on a chair. And he takes a photo of her dead body. Then he places her dead body into his car trunk while lifting it up. Later, Jack cleans all the bloodstains, returning back to her house. And he wipes all the proofs there. As nothing has happened here. But the police is really visiting that area. And Jack tells the police officer that, he is that lady's friend. He is waiting for her while standing outside for many hours. But his friend is not opening the door. Then police officer checks at the house of that lady. But he gets no proof. After this, a police officer asks Jack to move away. And Jack hurriedly drives away. Now that lady's dead body was tied in Jack's car. But that lady's dead body was moving while touching the road. And the whole road had blood stained. Jack knows about this after reaching his house. So he is panicked. And he was not understanding what should he do now? But the rain starts all of a sudden. And all blood stains are cleaned from the road. And ease is created for Jack. Now Jack notices the dead body of that lady, which had been spoiled badly. And he also preserves the dead body of that lady in the freezer. And he used to stick the photo of each victim lady on his room wall. Then the scene moves to the past and Jack's childhood is shown. Where it was cutting the claws of the ducks. And he was enjoying it a lot while doing this. It means, he used to enjoy torturing people from his childhood. And Jack had also committed many murders except these murders. Once, Jack becomes so furious with his friend. And he also strangles her to death. And he preserves her dead body into the freezer, taking this. 
In the same way, Jack is driving somewhere at night. A man comes on his way and he kills that man while hitting him with his car. And he also preserves his dead body, keeping it in the freezer. After this, he keeps the dead body of his friend and that man with him. And he takes the photos. He posts that photo is in social media, writing his name Mr. Sophistication. So he may get popularity through his new identity. In this way, he continued to do this. So he may be well known because of his new name. Now Jack reveals his third incident. And Jack in his youth is shown where he befriends a lady. Who had already two kids. One day, Jack leads all of them for hunting. Now Jack tries to kill all of them here. When his friends one of the sons is running then he shoots him with his gun. That lady's second son is witnessing all. And Jack also kills him. Witnessing all, Jack's friend begins to weep loudly later. Now Jack is also not satisfied with this and he asks that lady to feed the meal to her dead son. After one, he asks her favorite digit. She tells him the digit 12 on his asking. Hearing this, Jack says to her, you have only 12 minutes to escape. But she remains unable to flee. And Jack also kills her. Now he also carries their three dead bodies into his house. And he keeps them in the freezer. And he takes their smiling photos as it is. Then the fourth incident of Jack is witnessed. He comes to his friend named Jackline. There was little disturbance between the relationships of Jack and his friend Jackline. Jack's friend asks him here, what do you do? Jack was so intoxicated here and he tells her, he is a serial killer. He has killed nearly 60 human beings till now. Then Jack's friend comes outside after being feared by him. She comes to a military man and tells him that, her friend is a serial killer. And he himself has confessed this. That he has killed the 60 people till now. After this, Jack begins to quarrel with Jackline, coming outside. This military man thinks, there is perhaps their personal issue. He moves away. Both come inside the house again. Jackline says to Jack, you are perhaps Mr. Sophistication. Now Jack also ties Jackline. And he tortures her violently. After this, he kills her. Later, Jack tells about fifth incident of his life. Where he had abducted a number of the people. Jack wanted to kill all of them, using one gunshot. Now he sets all the people's heads in one sequenced queue. And he begins to target with his gun. Meanwhile, one of the men says, that the bullet of your gun is little. It cannot kill us at one time. Hearing this, Jack does not feel good, and he immediately moves to arrange a big bullet. Then he moves to the nearby gun shop. Where he asks for a big bullet from the owner of the gun shop. But the gun shop owner asks the identity of Jack. It was not available to Jack. He shouts at him and moves away. Now that gun shop owner had started to suspect Jack. He informs the police officers. After it, the police begins to chase Jack. Now Jack had visited his friend but his friend also refuses to give him a bullet. And he informs, police officers are after you. But Jack does not believe in his friend and his friend informs the police, and he makes Jack sit there. But Jack was so shrewd, Jack entangles his friend in his conversation and stabs his throat with a knife. Consequently, his friend dies and he grabs a big bullet from there. And he also waits for the arrival of that shop. When a police officer enters the shop, then he observes that there is a gun in the hand of Jack. And Jack fires his gun at the police officers, seeing him there. After this, Jack drives the police car to his house. And he enters his house, holding a gun bullet. He shows that big bullet to that man who had claimed, you cannot kill us at one time. Now he loads that bullet in the gun magazine and he begins to target, at the same time, he hears a voice of a man, he switches on the lights of his room, moving into his room. He observes a man named Verge there, about whom it had been told at the very start of the movie. Verge may be considered as an angel of death here. Verge says to Jack, I am here to take your soul. After this, he asks Jack to build a house with all those dead bodies. Jack builds a sort of house building with all dead bodies. Verge asks him to enter these dead bodies house when it is completely set. There was a hole in the house. As Jack was going to move into that hole, then the police arrive there and they target Jack before moving into that hole. But Jack moves into that hole after dying. Jack's soul is seen here. Verge was leading him to hell. 
Verge had decided to send Jack into hell. Now Verge takes Jack into hell where the temperature was high. Where the fire flames were flowing. And the bridge was a little damaged from its center. Jack asks Verge, what is on the opposite side of the bridge? He says, there is heaven on the opposite side of the bridge. But the people like you cannot move there. Jack is so scared, witnessing hell. And he tries to run to heaven from there. But his hand loses its balance on the way and he falls into hell. Where he was going to be punished for his sins. And the movie ends here. Thank you for watching.